and welcome to the Denford factory here in West Yorkshire where we are getting ready for the F1 in Schools UK National Final 2020 supported by Lenovo. It's our 20th UK National Final. Um, we started back here 21 years ago, um, eight schools in West Yorkshire and now we've spread about 26,000 schools in over 52 uh, countries around the world. And congratulations to all of you for, for making it through to the finals. That's a, a fantastic achievement. I just want to wish all the best to the 31 teams competing. I know you'll do some fantastic work and we hope to see you soon. Welcome to the UK Nationals. We wish you the best of luck. Hey guys, Alex here. Just wanted to say good luck to everyone competing. You're all going to do great. Yeah, get that win. So one day, uh, many of you watching hopefully will be working in Formula One. As Louis famously said in 2009 at the World Finals, that uh, he'd look forward to seeing some of the uh, participants then working at McLaren. And believe it or not, many of them are now. Where well, you can go to f1inschools.co.uk for more information. It'll also tell you how you can get involved in the challenge if you want to compete. Our tech team uh, have set up cameras all around the track which will give us the chance uh, to watch every race live. Then afterwards, uh, you will be able to see, hopefully, the replays powered by Lenovo. It is time to go racing. Day? Yeah, 64, almost 64, well, just above actually, about 65 kilometers per hour, 40 miles an hour. Uh, that different than we're just seeing there. All of the designs look great after oh. he was so... Very quick stuff there. Seemed fast. What, what did you take from that? Yeah, two very fast cars there. Well, <laughs> and look at the team kit. Oh, I love the team kit. Um, I'm really excited for the team. Neil, there's a clock above your head, which means there's a man who is always running to time. That is what management is all about. Uh, I say, uh, Sophie from Robbie, they're already thinking about future designs. That's great to see. It is great, yeah, and it's, it's nice to hear they're thinking about aerodynamics as a future career. As an aerodynamicist myself, I always want to bring more in, so no, it's fantastic to hear that. So, it was kind of like a team effort. So basically, Louis is our manufacturing engineer, and he had the idea of hydro in our car. We know we've done well in the other areas of the competition as well, so hopefully we can still Indeed you yeah. have. So graphic designer and I helped look after all the socials and website, which was really interesting for me. But um, when lockdown happened, we had to kind of adapt and be versatile. Optimum uh, level, maybe it is time to get some new glasses, I don't know, but we'll see. And the white. For Eclipse and very fast. That was close. One point, yeah. So if you said it, very close that there. close there, yeah. 1.103, I think that would be the fastest so far. I believe that is our fastest time. Pushing that button and away we go. What have you learned through this great pedigree of, of winning uh, the school's world finalist before? Uh, what's been the most challenging thing that you've had to, to deal with? I think you go to a competition and you've put your all into something and then maybe it doesn't go quite to plan or you learn loads of places where you can improve and you've got to have that resilience to be able to scrap everything you've done, start again and make it better and it's better off for it. Um, I'm quite happy with how the car's done, uh, like the, the weight was good. I'm happy that the aerodynamics. But because we've all been keeping in contact with each other, we've managed to keep up to date, make sure we're all up to speed with things. I've been working quite hard during lockdown, so yeah. Uh, lockdown has proved quite challenging for communication via the team. So we've come up with solutions such as Zoom and Teams to keep communicating in these troubling times. Uh, your backdrop, Ben, are oh, on point, very much team branding. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, well, we're just hoping it goes as fast as it can. Um, we It went well in the regional. Is it fast? <laughs> very fast. <laughs> um, I think it'll, it'll do quite well because Rachel and Adele have worked really well together to create a really good car. Yeah, it's been exciting. Um, it's good to know uh, Sophie's on our side, though. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm unbiased. <laughs> that is one big team. 
love to see it. Um, great. Look at those backgrounds. Oh, backgrounds are amazing. It was obviously really difficult at the start because uh, we never had any experience, but all together as a team, we worked really hard and we figured out the CAD and I think we're really confident about our car and about our CAD skills now. We happy with 1.106. Do we think you can go faster with car B? Um, so we're very happy with that one. Uh, we're glad that the car went down the track in uh, one piece, I think. Yeah, generally um, it makes the surface a little bit more smooth and just improves the overall air resistance of the car. I think probably printing out the parts and that was the most easiest bit. And probably the hardest part was like um, sanding and painting the car. It's been extraordinary. Uh, we've had so much fun and learned so many things through this time. Uh, it's been great to work with other years. Um, one of our main aspects that we've already done years, so I've actually uh, become friends with uh, people in the community. We'd created our own F1 in Schools router, so they don't need to go and look for equipment that could do a, a router. They can go to a specific machine with an XYZ travel that will just manufacture the Formula 1 car from the model block. So um, it is the awards ceremony, so let's get to it. Um, obviously the trophy you can see on the table here. We've the development class champions are IQ North London Collegiate National Champions. We're really happy right now. I think, I think we're all in shock, kind of <laughs> Very, Very speechless. It's incredible. When we started this competition, we never... We, we had no idea we'd get to this point and it just feels so surreal. This far, like especially with the situation with like COVID, like we did the best we could. We were just going to be happy like if our car didn't break on the track. <laughs> but I mean, this is like so much more than expected. Now it is time to turn uh, to enter crown our UK champions uh, unless they are already on the podium. Uh, these teams will be invited to represent their country at the next world finals. So our Welsh champions for today are Nemesis Inferno from Pencroyd Comprehensive School. And we now turn our attention uh, to the Scotland and Scottish uh, champions. And they are for 2020. The winner is Genesis from Lilithgow Academy, Scotland champions. Congratulations. Our third place professional class is awarded to Eclipse from Queen Elizabeth's Grammar School. Congratulations, Eclipse. Move on to the second place. And the winner is Electron from St. Olaf's Grammar School. Congratulations to you guys. Go. I wonder if we will be getting them up appearing on the Zoom chat. There they are. There we have. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Wait, we got second. You we got, got second, second, guys. <laughs> so our champions for today, the national champions of the professional class, and our winner is Britannia Red from Robert May School. <laughs> Oh, we're so happy, we're really proud. Um, it's been a difficult six months um, having to deal with all this change, but to be two-time national champions, it's, it's amazing. Absolutely fine, guys. Congratulations. Uh, more is being fired towards them. Uh, this is great to see. And we'll be back in 2021 with another amazing season of regional events. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much to everyone who's been involved in F1 in schools. Uh, thank you very much for watching. We will see you next year. Goodbye.